Jay Bid here. So how to get the life of your dreams, how to avoid the mediocre life, it's easy. You look at people getting the life that you want, and you see what they did. You look at people getting the life that you don't want, and see what they did, and then compare the two. So say you're 22, right? You look at people 32, and see where they're headed. You know, if they're headed in the direction that you want, if they, they've attained the goals that are similar to your goals, then fuck, then, f you know, ask some questions. You know, be their assistant, you know, just... Hammer them with questions. Pick their brain. Also, number two, so that's number one. So look at the people getting the results that you want. Number two is to just think, you know, if you're, if you, if you're going to shoot for mediocre goals, you're going to get mediocre, mediocre results. So like I said, my, my goal with this channel is to reach millions of people. Is to reach millions of people that, that change millions of people's lives. M to, to reach millions of people and see... And just let them know that you can change your life by just a quick diet change. By a good, just a quick lifestyle change. By just a quick mental change. Simplifying your life. So that's my goal. That's one of my goals. So if I, if I, had, a, if I had a goal of, yeah, you know, I, you know I'd like uh, you know, a few subscribers. And, you know, if I have a thousand subscribers, I'd be happy. You're going to... When you have a mediocre goal, when you have a realistic goal, you know, when two people tell you, you know, be realistic, you can't just, you know, make money off of YouTube or you can't just, you know, travel the world. You need to, you need to, you need to have kids and you need to, you need to train them to, you know, just do this cycle again. And it's bullshit. You know, have kids, have them fucking break the cycle. Homeschool them. Do this. You know, travel with your kids. Do shit that you think matters. You know, follow in your beliefs. Make your life align with your values. Like I said before. So does that make sense? So again, not saying that kids are bad or whatever. I mean, don't take don't take the wrong way. I'm saying that training the, training our kids to you know live these shitty boredom boredom rich lives is fucked up and it's cruel. So just because we're bored doesn't mean our kids are bored. So third step is instead of find your passion, which I always say, you know, I always say that find what excites you. If that if that makes you if that makes more sense to you, then go with that. So find out what excites you. So find out find out what excites your mind, what excites your vision. What what's your vision? And how, how can you how can you align your life up with that vision? So number three is find out what excites you. Because what you want to avoid in life is boredom. You don't want to be that, you know, fat, fat, sick, and nearly dead person in their 60s wondering oh well my kids are growing up what do i do now what oh i'm retired oh what do i what do i want you know, know what you want know what you want know what you want that excites you know what you want to excite you does that make sense so what excites me is seeing people you know take the basics and run with them you know i want to be a professional uh, rock climber they'll say so yeah a vegan diet can help you simplifying your life can help you and then you see people just go crazy with that and it's awesome it's that's the best thing to see and to see animals not suffer just just for us to eat that's also you know part of the goal so that's what excites me what excites me is not maybe not what excites you so find out what excites you so as always if you like this video hit the like button let me know in the comments below what you guys think, if this is a good video, uh, if it's a good video for you. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, vegan health, fitness, lifestyle, tips, and all these kinds of things. If you want to just follow my journey. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And as always, may your bananas always be right. Peace.